Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we will discuss a question related to magnesium sulfate toxicity. In the previous videos, uh, if you are watching, you know that we have discussed a topic before that is called lithium toxicity. So in the same way, this magnesium sulfate toxicity is also an important question asking area which is mainly related to the maternity. So now we will practice a question. A client at the 35 weeks gestation is admitted to the labor and delivery unit for severe preeclampsia. She is started on IV magnesium sulfate for seizure prophylaxis. Which of the following signs indicate that if the client has developed magnesium sulfate toxicity? Select all that apply. So, here they are asking a direct question what all are the signs and symptoms of magnesium toxicity for a client who have problem of preeclampsia or the client who is taking magnesium sulfate for the prophylaxis treatment of preeclampsia we'll read the options one then we will study uh, some of the aspects related to the magnesium sulfate toxicity option one says zero by four petalar reflexes which means the patellar reflex is zero or absent. Then option two, blood pressure of 156 bar 80 m, 84 mm Hg. Option three, client voiding 600 ml in eight hours. Option four, respirations of 10 breaths per minute. Option five, serum magnesium level of 8 milli equivalent per liter. So we will ask you one question. What is the normal therapeutic level of serum magnesium? That is 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter. Okay, keep in your mind. If it will exceed more than 7, we will consider as magnesium sulfate toxicity. So, when a client who is receiving magnesium sulfate, it is very essential to monitor the deep tendon reflexes. If the deep tendon reflexes is absent or below 2 plus, we'll consider as a sign of early sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity. Before coming to those points, we'll study what is magnesium sulfate toxicity and what are the types and clinical features. Now, based on the clinical features or based on the severity, we can divide it as three states: mild, moderate, and severe. If it is mild, we can see the client have problem with nausea. Uh, problem of nausea, flushing, headache and hyperreflexia. If it is moderate, airflexia, hypocalcemia, somnolence. And once it moves to severe, it is lethal complications such as respiratory paralysis, cardiac arrest. So it is very essential to find out the earliest sign and the mild complications or the mild features of magnesium sulfate toxicity to prevent the life-threatening complications of respiratory paralysis and cardiac arrest. I hope it's clear. What is the treatment once we find out? Stop the magnesium therapy and give the antidote that is calcium gluconate as bolus. Then some other points. IV magnesium sulfate administered for a seizure prophylaxis in pregnant client with a preeclampsia that we already know. Then how we will give? We will start with a loading dose of 4 to 6 gram followed by 1 to 2 gram per hour to maintain or to achieve the therapeutic level of 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter of magnesium. So that is the dose and how to give. Then if the magnesium toxicity may occur when the magnesium is more than 7 milli equivalent liter and it will show the symptoms of central uh, nervous system depression and blocks the neurotransmitter trans, uh, neuromuscular transmission. So, we said that the main earliest sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity is the absent or decreased deep tendon reflexes. We will also call it as DTRs, decreased deep tendon reflexes. It should be on a scale of 0 to 4 plus. If it is below 2 plus, we will consider that is. Um, the normal findings uh, up to like a 4 plus or uh, 2 plus if it is below 2 plus or if it's 0 or 1 plus we will consider okay it is decreased deep tendon reflexes and we will think okay it might be going to magnesium surface toxicity then the another point that uh, the toxicity 
if we will not recognize the toxicity early client may progress to we said that progress to cardiac failure cardiac arrest and respiratory failure so how we can identify that if the respiratory rate is below 12 breaths per minute that means that what that indicates respiratory depression so that is also a finding we can choose or we can use whether the client is going to magnesium toxicity because it is going to uh, depress the central nervous system and the respiratory center you know at the same time the respiratory rate will decrease and that is like a 12 breaths per minute so here we have to find out the respiratory rate we have to thoroughly check the deep tendon reflexes and the normal findings are 2 plus more than 2 plus 3 plus like this if below that one or zero it is absent deep tendon reflexes we should inform the doctor then what is the antidote calcium gluconate and should be provided as a given as a administered as a uh, bolus dose so these are some of the main points related to magnesium sulfate toxicity i hope it's clear already i have uh, mentioned everything in the slide if you feel i am so fast or if it is confusing please try to post the video in between and try to make the notes by your own you will get the idea because it is very serious uh, it is very important and uh, it is a very serious complication also life-threatening complication so uh, some of the questions uh, really we can expect from this area especially related to maternity so we'll come back to our options what is our answer definitely option one is our answer because here it is zero that means absent patellar reflex or detrimental reflex so option one is our answer then uh, option two says blood pressure of 150 684 mm of hg see here there's one point this hypertension it is a sign of preeclampsia and that is expected if it is more than 160 bar 110 the client will be prescribed with the hydralazine or labitalone okay that is the treatment so that is not a sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity so we can eliminate option two then here option three says client voiding 600 ml in eight hours what is the normal urine output on adult client 30 ml per hour so 600 uh, divided by eight it's more than that so it is a normal urine output it doesn't indicate that the client have less urine output less than it doesn't indicate less than 30 ml per hour because we should check urine output also because the magnesium is uh, excreted through the urine that's why but here the um, output is normal so that is not a sign of magnesium uh, sulfate toxicity so we can eliminate option 3 too now we have eliminate option 2 option 3 and we got only one answer that is option 1 so what are the other options respiration of 10 breaths per minute is yes, that is a correct answer because we said that if the respiratory depression which means the respiratory rate below 12 means there is a problem that is a sign or finding of magnesium sulfate toxicity i hope it's clear then another point was serum magnesium level of 8 milliequivalent per liter what is yeah it is more than 7 that means the client is going to magnesium sulfate toxicity so what are our answers option one option four and option five we have three correct options and uh, the other two options why it is not correct you understand is it i hope it's clear to you uh, i again i want to emphasize that if you found any difficulty if the way i am discussing if you uh, feel it is so fast please try to post the video in between and uh, try to understand the topic clearly if you want to get more explanation please mention the comment box definitely we will do it okay so prepare well and uh, do good for you do all the i wish all the best for your exams do well bye bye